Hi, I'm uh, here with uh, Charlie Cumbly. Uh, it's Charlie Cumbly, it's not Charlie Cumbly or Charlie no, Crumbly or... Exactly, yeah. but you got your name right. <laughs> uh, well done Charlie, uh, you just uh, won the uh, end of season championship. Uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, let's uh, go through your day. Yeah, so we had three races back to back and um, the breeze was sort of building all day. And the first, the first race in particular was really shit. And I just couldn't really, just didn't really get it right to be honest. So, um, How did you do in that first race? Uh, just about seven to eight, something like that, really. Um, but then the breeze came up and uh, changed the rig settings a little bit and just kind of got the boat going through the water a bit quicker. And to be honest, it was, you know, it's all pretty close. Um, I got away a little bit on the second race because I've got a big bit of pressure down one of the runs. I mean, you rounded, rounded the top mark first and you stayed ahead the whole race, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So that was fairly civilised because I just got a bit of a jump from the guys behind me. So. How did you find that win with Leeward on that uh, that race? Go one race one and two with win with Leeward. Yeah, I mean to be honest, um, you could have done the triangles, you know, triangles and that stuff. Because it was actually, although the first race was lighter, it was borderline, you know, some ten knots anyway. So you probably could have run triangle sausages all day, but. Uh, I suggested it in the first place, I think, so I've got a load of people. <laughs> and, uh, and how about the third race? Third race was, uh, was good. Um, Brownie was going well, actually. He must have lost a few pounds because he wasn't that slow down the runs. And uh, so he was going quite nicely. <laughs> Hello, mate. And uh, until he unfortunately went for a little swim on the... Uh, hey, Chris, let's just, just get Chris in the... Uh, <laughs> well, he went for his capsize, yeah, so... So Chris was actually leading uh, race uh, three. Swimming so you were leading race three, weren't you? Ahead of Charlie, ahead of uh, Charlie Andy Couch. All the way round, and I just yeah. boom, straight on top. Uh, why did you do that? So you know it's not fast. <laughs> the new boat I'm not used to. Did it. you lose your carbon uh, carbon yeah, flag? The new carbon bridge is gone. Uh, is it really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, more about that later, yeah. fans. Uh, anyway, anyway, it's enough for you, Chris. We'll go back to Charlie <laughs> since he won and you didn't. <laughs> okay, so uh, so that that third race, did you both did you start at the pin end or committee end or? Uh, third race started about a third of the way down from the boat, uh, maybe half about well, mid line to be honest. And the guys off the pin looked really nice, um, but it was one of those things where there was always <laughs> seemed to be pressure on the right hand side. So although there was a bit of a left hand shift. Kind of get across, right? Um, so you just had to kind of hedge your bets, I think. And I ended up trying to go up the middle a little bit, uh, and then you know, just on the other sides. I think, to be honest, if you get to a side, it was better. And uh, so you got past Chris up, what the second beat, I think it was. You got just past him right at the top, yeah, just a little port to starboard. I managed to just cross him, um, and then uh, yeah, so then we just had the last run, I think, from memory. The last run. Okay, well, congratulations, well done. Uh, another title to add to the uh, you know the, the long list. Uh, well done, and uh, look forward to seeing you in the spring. Cheers, mate. Thank you very well much. Well done, Charlie.